hey guys what's up so today i've got a cordless phone from panasonic and the model number is kxtg 3411 sx and this headset supports 2.4 gigahertz band you've got three color options here black red and white the box says that panasonic is global number one brand in the cordless phones you get these three accessories included in the box that is the charger telephone cable and batteries and on the back side of the box it uh, mentions some of the features of this uh, handset so uh, it says that the battery backup is 10 hours and the standby time is six days so that is really nice on the right hand side of the box you again get the color options on the top you get the pricing the mrp of this handset is 2299 but i got it for around 1750 or 1800 i don't remember that so in the box you get the handset instructions to set it up couple of batteries which are rechargeable and you get the space unit you get the operating instructions which I suggest you read it and you get this warranty statement and you get this telephone cable which is uh, decently long and uh, you get this wall charger and you can pause this video and read the specifications if you want to see that so uh, this is the base unit it says panasonic 2.4 gigahertz and uh, on the bottom side you get this telephone input and the power in socket and you get the model number and everything and you can even mount it on the wall so uh, looks really small and sleek but it doesn't have any speaker phone as such so you, you just have to use it to charge your handset and this is the handset and uh, looks really nice and sleek let's pop in the batteries and turn it on so it is asking me to charge it for seven hours so got very little juice left in here and uh, these are the buttons fairly large this is the power on off key and when I press it, I get this really nice orange backlighting. So this is a fairly basic cordless device uh, with uh, basic stuff here. You get 50 uh, contacts dialer info and it'll keep that in memory. You get caller ID function and this is how you're supposed to dock it in the docking station and charge it. So, so this is how you connect the power in cable and the telephone in cable and when you keep this base unit flat on the ground the cables do not interfere with it so it stays stable and uh, you cannot operate the handset while it is uh, charging so you have to pick it up and you can go in it and you can check out there is a phone book and you can have your contacts in it you can store it you have caller id and some basic stuff so i'll quickly connect it it to my uh, telephone line and check its performance so as you can see i've set this device up and i've kept it on the floor as of now and this device is completely charged so whenever you pick it up you get this really nice orange light in the display and these are the telephone and the power key the only problem that i faced with this handset is that it has no backlighting for the keys that it has so in the dark you have to do all the guesswork or you have to turn on the light so that is a little problem at actually it is a big problem but still you can manage with that then this is a really nice handset and it gives good range uh, in this fairly big house this floor that I'm on right now is 1500 square feet and I'll just show you when I've come out of the room and I've closed the door behind me so uh, you can hear the sound of this device It is fairly loud and clear. The disturbance that you are hearing is due to it interfering with the uh, microphone of my uh, camera. So uh, actually you get a very uh, crystal clear sound with this device. Uh, only in a particular portion of my house I get some kind of disturbance but the range is uh, awesome and flawless. So uh, this is a really nice handset. If you would like a cordless handset for your house then you can surely go for it. It can uh, cover 2-3 BHK houses uh, very well. Again you can see uh, the sound in this corner of the house.
So I think you must have heard the disturbance uh, in this corner of the house due to the wall in between and this is a fairly large house. So this was my review of this Panasonic or this phone. If you would like to buy this uh, handset for your home, you can do that from the link given in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know your views in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Take care.